How's it going, guys? Welcome back to the blue shifting and sound of drop fall into poison. I'm gonna drop, drop it in here. Get down. Yep. Wow, so gangsta, so gangsta. Anyway, as you know, last time we left, it was Hiyoshi san who saved us, who, you know, was kind of the creeper beforehand, and I don't know, he's probably still gonna be a creeper because he's in a horror thing, so let's just buckle up here and just strap ourselves in for this. Because uh, we're going to see how horrid it's going to go for us this time. Go away, mouse. Alright. Isn't this... Isn't this Matt an aquarium? Besides, before I met up with you, Hiyoshi-san, I... There was... So much. Yeah, you traumatized crazy little girl. Oh, my gosh. Oh. Kenji. Silent. Hiyoshi-san just stares at me in, in my flustered state. Um, I, uh, um, all right, calm down, calm down, Miyu-chan. Oh, is he going to hold her? A wide grin appears on Hiyoshi-san's face, and he, as he motions in front of the souvenir stand before sitting down. Today I have nothing but bad memories in, rela in relation to the floor, so I merely lean against the wall. Yeah, you know, the floor's been particularly deadly this time, and squishy. Yeah, squishy. The gotcha gotcha machines are still there, but the whole lineup is new, and I don't know a single one of the products. Uh oh. Oh, are we gonna have like a new like chapter? Okay. It's like ain't too black. Oh gosh, I just I feel like it's just gonna get even more clinchy than what was before. Uh I like the little seals. Those would be cool. Well then, have you calmed down a bit? Yes. Thank you very much, Yoshi-san. What did they do? Oh gosh! No! Don't do it! Don't fall to the dark side! I don't care how good their cookies are. Do you just, no, just don't do it, Mayu. Yeah, I'm glad. And you, ca and you can call me by my first name. I don't really care about who's older or who's younger. <laughs> I can call him Yoshi-san, Yoshi-san, or Yoshi-san. Hmm. The troubled, tortured choices of the ages! Um, what is it you know about the aquarium, Yoshi-san? <laughs> uh-uh, 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 not gonna go there, son. Mm-mm. Alright, that was terrible. <laughs> oh, gosh. Jeez, I told you you can call me by my given name. A guy grin appears again, but there is nothing I can do. I have some hesitation about actually calling an older guy by his given name, and I've only heard his first name once, so I don't really remember it. So the funny thing is, I could hear the first name like ten times, and I still wouldn't remember it. After that, Hiyoshi-san makes a serious face. I think of him as a light-hearted person, but as his mouth straightens, his face seems very focused. Oh. <laughs> Focus. Well, it's fine. At any rate, there's only one thing I know. The Matin Aquarium, but this is not Matin Aquarium. So, this is, but is not. We are in a knot. It's not Matin Aquarium? Something like that. I don't know the precise principle or cause behind it, but this Matin Aquarium is on a distinct time axis from the one you and I visited earlier. Meichu-chan. That's what I can think. I can think of it as anything else. I can't think of it as anything else. Well, are you a physicist? Because that was almost physics -y. Almost. Maybe like you read the wiki or something about physics one time. A different time? Whether past or present, you could even call it a parallel world, Yoshi Sun adds. I would, I would gander to say if it's just the aquarium, it'd be more like a space-time bubble. And... That's about it, because I mean, it would depend on a lot of factors, but if you were in an alternate dimension, for instance, you'd be able to leave the aquarium. I can't understand what he's saying, not in the least. How do you know this, Yoshi-san? That is... Yoshi-san mumbles and snorts. <laughs> Yay, he's Mr. Pig now. Hello, Mr. Pig. Hello. He looks at my way and smiles bitterly. Mei-chan? Didn't you meet any friends or acquaintances from long ago? Huh? On the contrary, I didn't see any staff or other customers. Did you? 
His words seemed very enlightened. I couldn't think of a single thing. After all, I'd just come from that experience firsthand. Yeah, but you were kind of like cuckoo at the time, so maybe that's part of it? However, there was something that bothered me as well. Yoshi-san had said long ago, Marie, who hadn't changed a single changed since that day. But then why? I don't get it. It's a bit about long ago. God, I slaughtered that. Let me read that again. I don't get it, but that bit about long ago. Therefore, I rejected it. In doing so, I could refrain from the fact that I had, reu been, had reunited with Marie. Is that so? It seems I said something a bit strange then. He looks at me, he looks away and says, he says this, and has no response for him, saying that, like that for a moment, Hiyoshi-san says, by the way, and continues speaking, I think what caused the glass in the jellyfish tanks to rupture was an explosion of gas or something within the tank. Mr. Science here. So the gas expanded and ruptured the tank from within. If I were thinking about the cause right, since there are no staff in the space time in a space time distortion, then there's no stray then it's not strange for the oxygen modulator here to break down. Okay. Obviously. So, in a different universe, it must be the machine's fault. Then it wasn't the work of ghosts? To my murmuring, he had no answer. He, funny thing is, though, I mean, okay, ghosts are whatever, but a ghost would actually be a little bit more believable than suddenly warping yourself into a nexus time dimension. You know, that's a bit of a stretch. But hey, let's just pretend we're in Star Trek. Then there's a perfect explanation. Even if we had to force ourselves, we should think positively, right? For us to have come here and there to be ghosts, it's not something I can take. Can we get back to our own time axis or something like it? We can get back, definitely. Yoshi-san asserts decisively without looking me in the eye. <laughs> oh no. Once again, he starts on the next topic by, uh, with a quick, by the way. That girl that was with you, the one who seemed to, to the occult and stuff, what happened to her? You mean Hamino? Oh, Hamino. We miss you. You are our rock. Yeah, yeah, Hamino-chan. Weren't you two together? I inflate my cheeks without thinking about it. When he notices, I become embarrassed and look down. <laughs> I rest my hands on my knees and move, moving them up and down say, I don't know. Ah, uh, you're a pretty easy read, Mayu-chan. Go, you got into an argument, didn't you? Uh, it has nothing to do with you, Hiyoshi san. Still, you did get there you did get that there's something foul about this aquarium, right? Mayu chan? You experienced that yourself. At his words, a pang of pain surges through my chest. Oh wait, I'm liking this because like so is it conflict that sends you in here? This is kind of feeling more and more like um oh, what was it? What was it called? I'll think of it. I'll think of it. <laughs> At his words, a pang of pain strikes in my chest. That room with the rotten corpses and sudden cracking of the tank in the jellyfish booth. When I think of the same accidents could happen to Hamino, I instinctively leap up. Speaking hostily, I have no desire to see Hamino's face. Speaking honestly, not hostily. Speaking honestly, I have no desire to see Hamino's face. But knowing that the whole aquarium is dangerous, I can't calm down. What if. What if imagining possibilities alone made me want to cry? Wait a second, Mei-chan. You must be tired from all that happened. Moving quicker than I do, Hiyoshi-san's hands hold me back. I'll go look for Himino-chan for you. The more knowledgeable, I'm more knowledgeable about this place. You wait here. As he says this, Hiyoshi-san gives me a thumbs up. It was just a mystery to me. We had only just met, and he had an incoincidentally. Inco oh, oh, gosh, no! Words! Dang it! We had only just met today and had an inconsequential conversation, so I wondered why he had come to rescue me. He was even showing concern for Hermino. Was he supposedly a total stranger? So why? Um. Well, there he goes. Bye bye. Without hearing my response, he starts walking away from where the jellyfish booth was. His face and profile make me very reassured. Hmm. I'm gonna die if I pick the wrong one. Well, let's see if I can go for a three for three, right? Please, Hiyoshi-san. Trusting in his masculine appearance, I bowed deeply. In reality, it was what Hiyoshi-san had said. I had very little stamina to begin with, and now fatigue was begin building up inside me. Deciding to stay standing up was good, and these heavy legs of mine were a proof of it. 
As for the thing with Amino, it would be best to talk them through later. If we talked them over in this tense state, we would probably just get in another argument. Yoshi-san might, might even serve as our mediator. As expected in this gloomy building, he didn't have to... Gosh darn it. Okay, let's try that again. As expected in this gloomy building, he didn't have to walk far before he disappeared. The sound of his gradually fading footsteps had also disappeared. The only thing I could hear nearby was my own breathing. That's why that high, roaring scream pierced right through my, pierced right through my eardrums. Yeah! Oh, I'm like, I'm like, womanly scream! There's a girl in trouble! <laughs> it was a scream that seemed to have echoed through every corridor. No, in and out of the whole building. It wasn't just somebody shouting, but somebody crying out as they were splitting apart their throat. Oh, no! At the sense of impending danger that voice bore, my own throat began to tighten. That scream... That voice wasn't merely familiar, it was the voice of Hiyoshi-san, who had been right in front of me just one minute earlier. After that single loud scream, I could no longer hear his voice. Hiyoshi-san? Please tell me I didn't kill us again. I quickly stand up, running for the, for the source of the scream. Oh, I know this place. This place connects with the tube tunnel booth and the souvenir shop. That's where I'd heard the voice coming from. I run towards the tunnel tank. Huh? Mayu chan I th Oh, shoot. I thought I told you to stay behind. More importantly, that scream a minute ago. Did something happen? Yoshi-san is sitting at the entrance of the tunnel tank, not far from the aquarium entrance. And my question, he gives me a wishy-washy reply of, You were worried about me? I'm so happy. Shut up. Nah, it's somewhat an embarrassing story, but it looked like there was a person floating inside the tank. Under the circumstances, it just surprised me. A person in the tank? Speaking of which, Amino mentioned something like that, but I'm glad... I thought you'd gotten caught up in some terrible situation like I had earlier. I was relieved from the bottom of my heart. Following that relief, I became aware of my own fear in the beginning isolated again. Chuckling, Hiyoshi-san scratched his head. Say, Miyu-chan? What? No! No, 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 no. I never got to hear the rest of what he was going to say. Huh? It all took place in a matter of seconds, leaving me unable to make sense of what happened. However, I gradually realized what was unfolding before my eyes. Oh, from her, oh, Hiyoshi San's neck up, I could see through the into the tank. Oh gosh, I didn't understand what I was seeing. In other words, his head was no longer where it should have been. Having lost a piece of himself so valuable to the human body, he collapsed slowly on the spot. From there, he never moved again. Oh gosh, oh the sounds are horrid. Soaking up the blue light, his reddish blackish blood spreading across the floor. Great. Oh my gosh! Oh! Oh! No! Oh my gosh! Oh! You know what the first thing that comes to mind is how bad that would smell and feel. Oh! Oh gosh. This time, it was my turn to split my vocal cords. Oh gosh. Oh gosh. Oh my gosh. Oh. Oh please. Why? How had he gotten like this? What could have happened to left him in this state? Yoshi-san's head tumbles along the ground and catches my eye. His eyes are wide and his pupils dilated. The grin he had set in hours earlier still spread across his face. There are marks at the nape of his neck, as if his head had been bitten clean off. What the heck is happening? Hiyo... Hiyoshi-san? I intended to run. I intended to run and leave the dead Hiyoshi-san. Whatever the left those bite marks were still no by, but I couldn't do it. Oh, crap. I did kill us! Gosh darn it. Really? It... It hurts. The area below my knees had become pitch black. My boots... Mom, there's no pain, only the visualization of pain running through my mind. In spite of losing my legs, I can't actually feel the pain. Of course not, that body of mine has lost its legs. I'm, it's watching from a separate place. This subjective point of view would have been impossible while I was alive. My head was already just like Yoshi-san's, just rolling around on the floor. The cold temperature of my body, that was the last thing I felt. Right before I lost consciousness, I saw its unbelievable truth form through the wavy mist in my fainting vision. With many fangs and a giant body, it was a fish. Gosh darn it, again! I am so bad! 
I can't believe it. Decapitation 1. Decapitation 1. Just the first one. I, I'm telling you guys, I legitimately have never played this before. I have no idea how I keep picking the death ones, but apparently I'm just doomed to die. I oh, look great. We see his dead body too. Wonderful. I am ashamed. Truly ashamed. Well, let's get back to it. <laughs> gosh. Oh my gosh. That was just wonderful. <sighs> okay. Well, here we are again, guys. Let's do the smart thing, apparently, and I'll go with him this time. Please, wait. I'll go. Somehow, moving my heavy legs, I follow behind Hiyoshi-san. It would have been easier to leave it to Hiyoshi-san. However, Hamino's my best friend. Though I can't believe we had fought, it really can't be changed, so I want to go to her. Good. Go get Hamino. Since the souvenir shop is near the entrance, Hiyoshi-san's head toward the, clo the closest tunnel tank. If Himino is still in the building, then we need to look everywhere for her. I'm able to catch up with Hiyoshi-san before he enters the tunnel. I'm going too. Hmm, Miyu-chan, I thought I told you to wait there for me. I can't do that. Besides, Himino is my friend. On hearing what I said, Hiyoshi-san gives me a patronizing look while grinning at me. That was a lot of emotions. Congratulations. <laughs> Looking into the tunnel from the outside, I realize it hasn't changed from the Mountain Aquarium I had seen earlier that day. Large fish like manta rays and sharks swim about. This is... The tunnel tank. If you two went in, in order earlier, then shouldn't we start from the first exhibit? I nod. It's what Hiyoshi-san said is right. He had right and walks on. I notice something there and pull him back. Look, over there. As I, I say as I point to an area nearby, the visi nearby that's visible from the entrance. The silhouette becomes clear on closer observation. I became frightened. Something hops freely from side to side. It bounces about the tunnel numerous times, then stops itself. After bouncing up and down on the floor several times, it ceases to move, completely exhausted. Frog? Please be a happy tree frog of happiness. Straining my eyes from far away, I can see that this is a fish. From the one I can see ten meters away, it has sharp fangs and a body as thin as a rail. Mm. That might be a cutlass fish. Yoshi-san murmurs, this having laid out his eyes on something that I had. Still, fish aren't creatures that can hop up and down all around the room like that. <sighs> well, see, here's the thing. Getting a better look, I feel like it's going to be a bad thing. But every time I've made a decision here, I've always made a mistake. So let's try in reverse psychology myself, and let's get a better look. We should get a better look. After waiting near the entrance for several seconds, a fish resembling a cutlass fish bounds across the tunnel then flops down on the floor, causing the amount of fish corpses on the floor to increase. The gathering of numerous fish scales reflects the fluorescent light back in the kaleidoscope. Though it is the same as the fluorescent lighting, the light reflects back as vivid, putting the sensation of scale slip slipperiness in my mind. Ugh, that's pretty creepy. Yoshi-san's lips curl up in disgust as he grumbles. I also thought it was creepy, but when compared to the rotten corpse I'd seen earlier, this was as far back as I was allowing my memory to go. <laughs> nope, so don't think of that. Don't think of happy things, happy trees, happy thoughts. Could be. In that contrast to Hiyoshi san, who had averted his eyes, I continued to stare at it and was able to pick up on something. Those fish hopping around, they're coming from below, from the place that looks like a vent. From the beginning of the tunnel, the fish hop up intermittently. It doesn't appear as though they are going to stop, with a few new fish popping up after a fixed interval of time passing. The fish mechanically shoot out of the vent, ricocheting around the tunnel at high speed, then finally their vigor exhausted die as they lay in a pile on the floor. At the moment they fall, the fish's long narrow bodies wriggling like snakes, they collide with the other fish, and then, then as they cease moving, the next fish hopping to its death in the same manner. Gosh, it's like a, I don't know, like a, like a death cannon, a fish cannon. Salmon cannon. Those are real, by the way. Look it up. They are. Good eye, Mayu-chan. So many strange things have happened that I'm probably becoming used to them. Unable to bear these strange circumstances any longer, a self-depreciated -de smile repeats. <laughs> Words are great. A self-deprecating smile reaches my lips as I give a light laugh. Whoa. 
At the same time as the fish leaps up, Yoshi-san takes a handkerchief from his pocket and tosses it into the giant cylinder. The fish pierces the handkerchief once it dances in the air, then the fish passes through it a second, and then the third time as it bounces repeatedly. In an instant, the fabric he tosses has become dust. I'm placing myself in the handkerchief's position, I subconsciously cover my neck. It shouldn't penetrate this. Amino! Not having a form, shouldn't this mean that should mean it isn't going through a form a, a dead body i didn't want those words to pass my lips but it was definitely as yoshi san had said miyu chan don't you remember where you and himino chan split up do you i looked down tilt my head to the side i'm worried about himino i can no longer make baseless statements like himino's fine because she's himino the reality is if yoshi san hadn't rescued me i'd no longer be in this world there's no way i can let that happen to himino i have to hurry meet up with her and find a safe place Oh, man. I think I didn't kill us! Yes! What an achievement! Hallelujah! Alright. Now we have physics being broken and no clue what's happening. But hey, I only died once this time when I could have died twice. So, I'm going to go ahead and end the episode here. This was fantastic. I'm excited to see where we can go and hopefully we can find and save Hamino, that wonderful little girl of ours, and bring her back to the real world because this is just crazy messed up. Especially with the whole physics fun thing. I... I don't know how to take fish that can just jump through your throat and kill you instantly. Nor do I like, really appreciate or understand the whole time dimension thing. It's kind of fun, but I don't know. We'll see how it goes. It, that's one of those elements where it's like either a fantastic addition to a story that makes it really compelling and interesting, or a very convenient plot device that just explains why we're not in the original place we were. But anyway... Like and favorite if you enjoyed, subscribe, and please leave a comment and let me know what I can do better in my future videos. I'm really excited to announce that we're going to be having a camera update coming up soon, probably in a month or so. So I'm actually going to be able to look great and, well, you'll be able to at least see this ugly mug in real high HD quality. And that'll be a bit of a bonus. Anyway, like and share if you can. Please spread the word and let people know about this channel, how you can have great, great gaming and entertainment and geeky anime talk without all the, all the curse words of the vulgarity. Also, check out some of the other videos I've been uploading. It's been a lot of fun. And until the next video, guys, see ya!